just had a really interesting discussion with a friend of mine that I wanted to share with you. I wanted to uh, share with you some of the issues, some of the elements that we talked about that really shed a light on why it's so hard for us to, to move the dial on changing the public school system. So we were talking about how um, important it is for parents to have power in their children's education and how the compulsory laws and the top-down system that we have right now of, of standards and, and testing and all this coming down from the federal government, you know, kind of being adopted by all the states, like we saw with Common Core, or we're seeing with critical race theory or transgenderism policies, different things like that. And one of the things this person said was, as long as we have this high rate of divorce and we have this, you know, these disintegrating families, we have an obligation as a society to step in and try to, to, to fix this or try to ameliorate it in a, in a way. And the point that I shared with him is, well, let's, let's take it back. Let's see where this feeling or this, this attitude, this mentality um, began where we thought, you know, we have problems in society, so the natural place to go and fix it is, is the school system. So one of the first things that um, the school system did with this is sex education, right? Sex education began, you know, however many decades ago. I could do some research on that and find out when the first sex education classes began to be included and called health. And it was because you had you know, teenage pregnancies, and you had STDs, you had, you know, this new culture that really came out of the 60s where everybody said, we're just going to throw off convention, we're going to reject norms, and everybody's free to do what they want to do. So the schools began to step in because somehow parents weren't teaching their kids about sex, and so the schools needed to do it so that we could avoid uh, teenage pregnancy, etc., etc., etc. Did that work? <laughs> Did that really stop kids from having sex? Did it show you how to use a condom, or uh, you know, does it did it stop STDs? You know, last statistic I I read was that one in four people have a sexually transmitted disease, and it's getting worse. It's not getting better. Has it stopped teenage pregnancies? Well, no. But of course, we've made abortion on demand, even in some places where the state government will pay for it without question, even up to the day of, of uh, the day of your due date, which is here in Oregon. Um, you can get a free abortion, even an illegal alien can get a free abortion at taxpayer expense. So we didn't really solve the problem of teen pregnancy, but we just sort of you know, glossed over it, making sh sure that, you know, baby, unwanted babies weren't born. The breakdown has not been resolved. <laughs> the core issues, the core problem has not been addressed. And they've, the bureaucrats in Washington and in other state capitals have taken that mentality that it's somehow the school's job to fix all of society's ills. We, we can't, you know, we, we can't let some unknown person, some unknown child, whose parents aren't doing their job, have a bad experience because, well, that's not good for society. I'll tell you what's bad for society. What's bad for society is a bunch of parents who believe that if they don't do their job, well, somebody else is going to pick up the pieces. Now, that is harsh. That's going to get me a lot of hateful comments. I'm not sure I'm going to apologize for that because the truth is it's not that you're a bad parent if you have your children in public schools. I'm not saying that, okay? I'm saying that there are too many parents who drop their kids off, just like I was saying in a previous video from Teacher Tom, Blogspot, that expect this public school system to teach their children life skills, morality, and be competent uh, educationally or intellectually uh, to be successful in life. And my friends, 
The public school system has failed miserably at all three, and they will continue to fail. The only answer is for parents to step up. If you care about your country, if you care about your children, if you care about your family, if you care about your community, you have to be a part of that. And you can't give that responsibility to anyone. You can't abdicate your job as a citizen, as a parent, to the government. And I challenge you to think hard about all of those roles that we have, especially if you're a parent, and do everything you can to engage. That's my message and my challenge to you today.